guys, this is Shali Kocha. You know, I am in Berlin, believe it or not, and this was not even planned. So don't mind the video because it's like a bit blurred and a bit weird. But we're in this amazing place with this gorgeous lady. I found her, I found her, I found her. Ayla is with me. Ayla, welcome on the show. Hi. I'm so happy to have Ayla here. So Ayla gave this, we both got an award tonight at this Congress in Berlin and Ayla gave this most amazing speech. She works hugely for what I believe in, women empowerment. She has the most amazing book with women all over the world. Ayla, I want you to tell our viewers the amazing work that you're doing for women. Well, um, I actually started really humble. And then when I did my PhD research, that shows that number one factor, number two factor on buying real estate is actually schools and food. So it's actually decided by woman. So then uh, that's, that's, that is how I started my woman empowerment. And also because uh, my mom has been very sick. She's a single mom, raised me with three brothers alone and surviving like, a f she's still surviving now, five years hard. So that's why I believe in woman empowerment. And another thing is, like I said in the stage today, the first uh, real estate, uh, the palace of real estate that anyone could ever uh, afford is a womb of a mom and by this book uh, that is written by uh, millionaire mind is stated that for uh, number one number two number three number four of success factor is actually character number five is environment so it's it's very important Shalini to be with a woman like you oh right woman, thank you woman who empowering each other thank you and concept of a star you know when I started it's not very easy because women they tend to they want to be like the only star there's no such one star if yeah. you have many stars in the night that will be shining worldwide that will be better and I'm so happy today coming here actually also meeting you a woman like you oh, know humbled Yes, living outside of India, um, in Europe, uh, creating your uh, legacy of jewelry. And I'm very proud to sit with you here. Ayla, you know, this is a cause which is close to your heart and to my heart. And we're both you in your country, me and mine, and now collaborating and taking it global and making sure that all the women get involved with us. But this, this specific video is for Women's Day. So to tell us your thoughts on Women's Day, what you perceive, what you think, how you visualize. So I think woman is a future of educator and the next generation of countries of youth and kids is depending on the woman. So it's important to make sure that our woman is actually in the state of very good mind and physically, mentally independence, uh, have uh, whatever she needs to have. It's very important. And as you see today, a lot of women um, maybe sitting in the camp in Afghanistan that probably smarter than you and me, but she didn't have the chance. Opportunity. Yes. Absolutely. The opportunity. Absolutely. And uh, reverse, reversing back, I also want to know why you are in woman empowerment. Oh, you're asking me the question? Yes. Now? Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even imagine being on this side of the table, okay, really. So I got into this story because I feel that a lot of women who are, you know, downtrodden, not educated, in the villages, going through child marriage, not going through education, have a lot of support from the government of India. But I believe that a women, the women, the middle class women, we have to fight our own battles, right? Or, or even the women who are rich, we are taking care of our husbands constantly, not 
exploring the opportunities that are open to us. I wanted to create a platform for women like us who could go out there. We can make such a difference. We've got the resources, we have the money, we have the power, we have the education, yet we are taking care of children and taking care of families, not to say that's wrong. But I wanted us women to go out there and make a difference, which is what brought me to this story. Because I said, I will empower, I make jewelry. So I empower all the artisans, they make my jewelry, I give them money, I'm supporting them. But I wanted women that are educated to come out there, create a platform create a tribe, grow through interdependence. That's what brought me to, into, to, to women empowerment, to answer your question. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Ayla, since we have decided that we're going to collaborate on this big global story that's going to happen and that's going to be the Oscars for women and you're, you're going to be by my side while I make this happen, I want to ask you a question. And this is not to... Of course, the women that we're going to honor is going to be more real women and, you know, the famous women are already getting enough acknowledgement. But yet, right now, at this point, I want to ask you, if I was to ask you to give an award for somebody in the movies, who would it be? For somebody in the movies, um, I actually like this. Uh, I mean, she got a lot of awards already. It's an actress called... Uh, uh, Aishwara Rai. Oh, really? But I love her. it's not about uh, the movie, but she's uh, representing an Asia in Global League, you know. And I really like her. And she also have a she carry a, a personal branding of herself. Yeah. And um, the second one you say it, it's uh, uh, fashion or so. So tell me, you you take your pick. Fashion, music, since we discussed what what are the awards. Tell me, what do you think fashion? Well, for so me... So you do, you do know that Aishwarya and yes, you yes, the same Miss yes, India, right? Yes, I yes. mentioned that to you. Okay. So... I just, I'm just gloating. Okay. Yeah. So on the fashion industry, I actually feel very sad in fashion industry because a lot of people are perceiving fashion in a very, very Different. wrong way. Yeah. You know, because of the fashion industry, 24% of our, you know, uh, youth are actually uh, uh, depressing. Of they have to become very skinny. So I want to do the sad. other way. Yeah, that's the sad part. So uh, on the fashion, um, I don't think I perceive enough uh, a woman in fashion industry that represent a different Us. a different fashion. Yeah. Probably you are the first one. <laughs> because you know, Shalini, fashion is not about being beautiful. It's being confidence, being you, being able to tell people, "I love you" or "I hate you." Uh, have the enough confidence, you know. That is fashion. Yeah. Uh, 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 not 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 the other way around of people preserving it, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I think uh, like I want to do like fashion talk where we do it the other way around. Normally, the people who does the fashion do, we want to see the, the people who wear the fashion because sometimes fashion is not really very comfortable for you. Uh, so, Ayla, this is a question I, I cannot resist asking you because I heard you speaking on stage today and my God, there was about 15 speakers today, but she took the cake because she is passionate about what she feels. And I want you to speak about women in politics, how we can make a difference and how it is important to have women in politics. Tell us some more. So I don't know if you know, uh, recently in Malaysia, there is in Malaysia, there is this first time in the world that somebody uh, become re-elected twice, become prime minister. It's Mahathir. Yes? Yes. But I, I want to tell the story not about Mahathir, but about Aziza. Yeah. Aziza is a woman that fight for her husband for 20 years. 20 years of her life, she go there and fought the battle. And today she's the deputy PM of uh, Malaysia. I'm not saying about the position that she has now, but the battle she went through for 20 years. For her husband. 
that too. for her husband. That's the important part. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. her husband, and she's not even a politician. She's a she's an eye doctor, and this is, I think, is a reminder of all the women in the world that if it takes twenty years or one hundred years, you're gonna have to go for your passion. There will be an ending point where you eventually will go to that and path that this is what I want. This is confidence. This is personal branding. So for me, if I will be award uh, one politician lady, then I will award this lady Aziza because I think for 20 years of fighting of a case, yeah. Yeah. She, she is the one who go and uh, do the deal, do the business meetings. The husband is inside of uh, uh, like, a, you know, a, yeah. a jail. Yeah. So yeah. that is, I think, love story. That's awesome. And another person that I I also uh, have a, a lot of passionate feeling is Ibu Ainun Habibi. I don't know if you know this no, lady. No, no. She's a very smart woman. She actually stay here in Germany and then so she's a very smart lady but she has to step back because the husband is running for uh, presidency so woman em empowerment is not only being there and rise yeah but for some woman who is having a lot of talent but has to take five step backs balance for the husband. The to husband, rise. absolutely. A lot of us women do that, right? Yes. So, this is, I think, for me, is a. Uh, well, Ainun and uh, Habibi is the biggest love story of all time in my country, you know. After she passed away, the late president was so in love with her. And she, he is a technocrat. I don't think any scientists are very, very romantic. So, I think this is a very interesting. Uh, appreciation from the husband to the wife that passed away that he wrote a story about her oh. so he actually understand the oh, the thing that she has to let go just being with him and being a wife you know for a woman to to carry a baby deliver a baby without her last name that's a lot and you know um taking a step back and let the husband or the son or the daughter run the shows. That's a lot too. And we have to also take like appreciation for this woman. So for the fact that you all thought that I was passionate about this cause, can you see there's a world of us out there. There's a woman like her. Today there was 15 men speaking in the audience, but all we wanted to do was hear her because she was speaking from the heart and that's her. Ayla, we are going to come right back because I want you to come back with me to give a special message to all of us for Women's Day. So I'm giving you two minutes to think. Let's take a break and come right back to you guys. Keep watching. Shani says. Ah... Uh, Okay, I really don't want to end this because, you know, in between while we're taking the breaks, I'm just having so much fun with her and she's got just so much, so many fun stories. I'm going totally crazy. I love her. I love her. I love her. Nevertheless, it is time that she was to give a message to all of you out there watching us on International Women's Day and International Women's Year and Inter International Women's Life. <laughs> 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 we are here to celebrate all of that, but I want you to give a message to all us there. So, as a future of educator, I think it's important for us women to have enough knowledge of everything. Read books, read magazine, go to conference, meet people, uh, keep exploring of yourself and never be afraid to tell people who you are uh, just be yourself and go there and meet more people do not be afraid to explore yourself to the maximum because you have one life one life to do everything you want to do 
Raising children, of course, is our duty, but also to fulfill our life with higher purpose. Yeah. I think it's important. So we feel always content and happy. And there's no end to either money or knowledge. It depends on how you perceive it. There's no end to fashion. There's no end to anything. You decide where to end. But what I mean is keep moving, you know, study, uh, uh, learn new things every day, being start up every day, and don't be afraid to fail. Failure is good. You know, when I start my real estate, I, I thought I would be like one of these best consultant ever. <laughs> yes. Out of the sudden, <laughs> Bali or whatever my country have uh, earthquake. And then I fail. I actually fail, put it under insurance. But it's okay. Because of it, I learn. Yeah. Failure is actually the best Way thing. To learn. Yes. Absolutely. When you can acknowledge it as your failure and then you do it better. You know, and it's fine. Everybody makes mistakes in life. Yeah. You, you, you keep going. You, you learn. And one more thing. Have a try. Have a try. Which is what we're doing. Which is what we're doing. Yes. Have a tribe. Always have a tribe. People who will love you no matter what you do. Yeah. It is important to always have a tribe. Yes. Someone like you outside there who think like you, who have a heart like you. Have it because it's important. It makes you stronger. You know... Uh, when I faced difficulties in my business, I thought my whole life is going to go over. And in real estate, it's a silent killer. Yeah, oh my God. I, but I, know. I have this tribe. I'm not afraid at all. They say to me, Ayla, it's okay. We start again tomorrow. And it's important to have these people yes. around you. Absolutely. Environment, a very good environment that gives you red carpet. You see, you could know the, the richest person in the world, president, whatever, but if they don't give you the red carpet, they never give you the red carpet. It's the people who believe in you, your tribe, they will be the one who gives you the red carpet. They'll be the one who gives you speaking platform. They'll be the one who gives you many things. And value that because your life or, you know, sometimes you get the best business deal from the people that you would ever imagine they would give you the deals. So what I'm saying is value that. Value that. You know, don't chase wrong thing in life. The eye is deceiving. We will have this blindness community. We will we'll do the dialogue in the dark in 28th of this month. Is what happens if you don't have the eye? You can only see it with the heart. The heart, the energy, they don't lie. You will know five seconds of your life. These people will stay with me or, you know, you will know it. It's from the heart. It's not from the watch, the, ba the bag, or a lot of things. It's from the heart. Yes. Have it. Use the heart, not your eye, to find your tribe. So that's my message. Okay. My God, I don't know about you guys, but she really gives me the goosebumps. She feels you. She hears you. She is just out there for you. That's the woman that she is. She's giving a message. Guys, live by the heart. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people out there that are going to tell you, live with the head. The head always has a different opinion. Let's not. Let's live by the heart. Let's do what our heart says. Let's get together. Let's have a tribe. Let's make a difference. Let's make this a better world for you and for me and the entire human race. Keep watching, as Shali says. Ayla here from Indonesia, and 
Sharing it from Monaco and India. Kiss from Berlin, <laughs> India, yes. And today in Berlin, big kiss to you guys. Mama. <laughs>